Am I the asshole for refusing to watch my sister's stepkid and exposing her lies to her husband? My F-21 sister Jess, F-30, is married and has a 5-yo stepson. Her husband works full-time and she is a SOM. Every Monday, she'd call my mom at 9 a.m. to get her to go over to her house and watch her stepkid for few hours. I live at home with my parents and so I've noticed this routine for weeks now. Last week mom went out of town to visit some relatives, and yesterday, Monday, at 9 a.m. my sister called asking me to come watch her stepkid for few hours because she had an important thing to do. I said no because I had to go study and also she does this every Monday so clearly it wasn't important or urgent but she insisted it was, I told her sorry but no. She ended the call then I went to the university. Hours later, I got a call from my brother-in-law asking where my sister was, I said I had no idea. He proceeded to tell me he just came home at 1 p.m. and found his son by himself at the house. I was in shock that my sister left her stepkid by himself so she could go God knows where. I told him about the conversation I had with her and he got angry. In the evening my sister came over and started making a scene by yelling at me for bailing on her after she sent me a text message telling me she was already out the house to force me to come watch her stepson. I didn't see the Facebook message till she told me but she said I did this deliberately and also, exposed her to her husband because she told him she'd be at home with the kid. Not just that, but I also told her husband that mom comes over every Monday morning to watch the kid for few hours which caused a huge fight between him and my sister. She yelled that I was petty and selfish and just stirred shit and caused issues in her marriage by tattling to her husband. I couldn't keep arguing I went into my room and started playing music. My dad and the others said I was to blame for not helping my sister and now being the reason she and her husband are in conflict. Am I the asshole? Okay guys so I saw few questions asked multiple times so I'll just put the answers out here for all to see. 1. My brother-in-law's wife is deceased. 2. Brother-in-law is always at work when my sister calls my mom to get her to come over and watch her stepson. 3. Most of you guys are asking where my sister goes every Monday. And I even saw someone mention that I was your the asshole for not finding out. But I don't know anything. I have no idea what's going with my sister and I thought it was none of my business. Update. Guys. I've decided to try and find out what is really going with Jess. I'm not the type to snoop and it's not my business but she already made it my business by turning the family against me because of something she did. NGL I came here thinking I was going to get toast but I wrong. Thank goodness for that. I'll update as soon as possible. Thanks. Not the asshole. So is your sister having an affair, or is she a drug addict? Not the asshole a 30-year-old does not need this coddling. She left a 5-year-old alone for who knows how long to get into who knows what trouble. The 5-year-old needs some coddling. Not the grown woman who made a knowing and conscious decision to marry a man with a young son. Hope he divorces her. Not the asshole, this is bonkers. She left a 5-y. Oh. Alone, counting on a messaging app on a social network and your sense of concern for a child to make sure her responsibilities were covered. I don't think going out one morning a week is a problem for a SOM, but lying to your husband about it and forcing your relatives to cover it? No, sir. Not the asshole. I hope her husband questions her on what exactly she does and where she goes when she's supposed to be watching the kid. That's sketchy AF. Not the asshole and I can't believe your family members are saying you are. She left a five-year-old alone. She is the awe. Also I'm nosy AF. What does she do every Monday? Not the asshole. You are not the childcare. You do not have a contract or agreement to do it. She assumed she could guilt you into it at the last minute. Good for you for standing your ground. She created this mess, not you. She will have to fix this mess, not you. Her web of lies fell apart. I feel badly for the kid and brother-in-law. But brother-in-law made a choice. Probably not the kid. Not the asshole. But your sister sure is. As are your parents for enabling her lies to her husband. You didn't cause this, she did, with her lies. Did she ever say what was so important every Monday? A different guy maybe? You are definitely not the asshole. Not the asshole. A Facebook MSG? Jesus. Am I the asshole for, siding with a home wrecker? Throw away because I don't want my sister finding this. My sister, Annie, 30, SF, is obsessed with a girl. Let's say Jane, 20, SF, that her husband cheated on her with in mid-2020. IDKY. Jane's not the first or the last. She was one of the decent ones. Didn't realize he was married. Broke it off when she found out, and sent the proof of his cheating to his wife. 
Somehow he spun this as, she's trying break us up, and my sister fell for it. Which is stupid because Jane already blocked them on everything. He's the one that basically stalked her for months after. Anyway, Annie's been stalking Jane's socials. Anytime Jane posts about something bad happening, Annie calls me up to gloat. Anytime she posts about anything good that happens, Annie starts crying about how it's not fair. In the last few months Jane apparently got a high-paying new job, got engaged, and is pregnant. Annie had a full-on meltdown over it. It's all she ever wants to talk about. She'll call me at least twice a week with this shit, and text me multiple times a day. She doesn't want advice, doesn't want to leave him, just want to vent endlessly. My other sister is also tired of this, but my mom says we need to be gentle because it's hard for Annie. I just want her to stop. I tried sympathy, tough love, changing the subject, suggested counseling, nothing works. It's non-stop Jane did this and Jane said that. I hit my boiling point this morning when she was going on about how Jane's fiancé would cheat because she's too fat, she's pregnant, and her baby would be a bastard, etc. Then she said, I don't care because I won and she lost. She had him for a week and I have him for a lifetime. For some reason that made me snap. I told Annie she won, a slimy serial cheater who likes to creep on barely legal teens, who never supported her through illness or depression, never lifts a finger around the house, sulks about having to babysit his own kids, constantly makes mean jokes about her, and criticizes her appearance harshly even though he's below average in looks. I said something like, maybe you're obsessed with Jane's life because it's yours as a massive dumpster fire. Since then, I had to deactivate my socials because I'm getting non-stop hate from Annie, her friends, and extended family for being cruel. Apparently I have no morals and condone cheating? None of them are going for the actual cheater though? Just me for pointing out that he's a cheater? My other sister says that I wasn't wrong, but I was an asshole to say it so harshly, and that Annie is a victim too. IDK Reddit, am I? And hash x200b. Edit. Thanks for all the comments and awards and advice. Sorry I can't reply to everyone. I'll keep suggesting therapy to Annie, and I'll track down Jane's socials and let her know what's up. If anything happens from that I'll let you know. Some people suggested I show this thread to Annie, but I know she'll totally explode if she thinks I shared her private stuff online, even anonymously. Not the asshole. Your sister is obsessed with someone who her husband cheated on her with. Broke up with said husband once she found out about him still being married and has since moved on. What your sister needs is professional help. Not the asshole your sister is in complete denial of her shit life. I wonder how long it'll take for her husband to walk out on her and leave her to dry. If you think that's an actual worry then you may want to talk with any mutual close relatives and friends to stage some sort of intervention. This shows how bad her life and relationship really is. Not the asshole. The common factor between all these affairs is your sister's husband. Jane called a stop as soon as she learned he was cheating with her. If anyone is at fault it's your brother-in-law and he's who your sister needs to deal with. Not the asshole. I think you only told her the truth. There's a reason she's so obsessed because hating these other women stops her hating herself. She needs therapy and to leave that man. Not the asshole. I think your sister wants to be Jane, by that I mean in her position. She's 10 years younger and had the sense to get away from that sleaze when she saw him for what he was. A lot of misdirected anger going on here. Not the asshole. Your sister is an obsessed stalker who is more focused on Jane's life than she is her own. I think you're right that she's like that because her own life is a disaster, and she wants a distraction from that, but also someone to focus her hate on. Not the asshole. These issues are heavily covered by the Gottmans, who are very well-respected domestic, family psychologists. Her mentality is normal for someone who is betrayed, but you do not need to be on the receiving end of all of this. This is absolutely unhealthy, and your sister needs counseling ASAP. Not the asshole. Your sister is obsessed with Jane because of the lack of crazy. Jane broke it off and moved in as soon as she found out, proving herself to be a decent person and not at all willing to humiliate herself for the douche canoe. She wants that crazy obsessed side piece behavior to 1. Make herself look like a martyr. 2. Feel smug that her husband won't go anywhere. Because of course he won't. You are not the awe. Sit back and watch the drama like the wannabe Mexican telenovela it is. Good luck. Am I the asshole for not wanting to pay for my GF's services? Hello, hope all is well with everyone. I, 23, have been with my GF, 22, for a little over four months and all is great. Before her and I got together, 
I would get my eyebrows threaded by a friend that would charge me $5 at first and then increased it to $10 when she got a studio. Still cheaper than going to an actual eyebrow shop. My girlfriend made comments about the shape they came out and that they are not her preference. She did them once after that for fun and to me they looked the same and I told her I really liked them. I need to get them done soon and brought it up to girlfriend if she could clean up and reshape my brows. Upon asking she responds with, send me a $20 deposit and a date and time, if you're late after 10 minutes it'll be $1 a minute. At first I thought she was joking, she wasn't. She was dead serious. Then $10 after I'm done. $30 total if I am not late. My girlfriend is not an eyebrow artist, nor is she certified or a licensed esthetician. She does not have a shop, nor does she have equipment other than small scissors and tweezers. I asked why I needed to pay her, that we are dating and that it should be out of courtesy if anything. She responds with, well if you were supporting another BTCH before, why can't you support me? Go support that BTCH. It's literally 3x's as much as my regular brow lady. I don't charge my girlfriend for when I deliver food for her or for massaging her back and feet when she asks. Am I the asshole for being hesitant on hiring her services? I'd much rather go with my regular brow lady. What's next? Do I have to pay my girlfriend to cook us a meal? I Ada? Edit. My brow lady is not my ex. I have been with my girlfriend for a little over four months and all is great. Narrator. All was not great. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Red flags all over the place. Also it's horrible how she was quick to call another person, that BCH, for no reason whatsoever. One word. Run. Not the asshole you should carefully consider this GF. What other red flags are you seeing? Geez. Not the asshole but if you give massages the charge her. $60 for an hour. Not the asshole dude. She has an issue with your eyebrows, not you. She charges three times the amount your regular lady does and she doesn't even have the spacet equipment? That's madness. Next, she'll say that she doesn't like what you cook but will charge to to cook. Not the asshole. Observe red flag and don't waste your 20s on this kind of drama. Not the asshole. She is obviously jealous of your friend. The two of you need to have a serious discussion. Am I the asshole for calling the cops on my sill for leaving my bedridden brother alone in the house? So this incident took place last week. I F 27 have a brother M 33 who got into a serious accident resulting in him being bedridden for the past few weeks. Now I have to say that his wife aka Sill do not get along but we do tolerate each other and try to be civil. Last week I got a call at 11 am from my brother telling me he had just woke up and his wife wasn't home. I asked how so and he said he called for her but got no answer. He also said he called her phone but she didn't pick up. I was mad because this is just flat out neglect and it wasn't the first time she did it. My brother begged that I come help him because he accidentally wet the bed. But I hung up and called the police to report this incident anonymously. The call was a welfare check and when the cops arrived, my sill was still out of the house. Hours later my sill called me and was yelling names like crazy at me for calling the cops on her just because she was just out running errands. I told her it was her fault for leaving her bedridden husband home alone unattended but she saod he was asleep but still anything could have happened. She argued that I just got her in a problem with the police that was totally avoidable and said I should have come helped my brother when he called, instead of going to the police to teach her a lesson, from that I figured my brother told her it was me who called the cops. I hung up on her but she sent my family after me and they said I shouldn't have called the cops but I explained that Sill did this to herself by acting neglectful yet I got called a judgmental bee with nothing but spite for my Sill and zero concern for my brother but that was not true. I don't know what she told them but I'm clearing the air tomorrow though my family insist I messed up and caused unnecessary problems to my already struggling Sill. Does she have any support network, or do you expect her not to leave the house the 24th of July 365? Food needs to be bought. Errands have to be run. If you're concerned, offer to take a shift staying with your brother so Sil can go out and not be slave to caretaking. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. My brother begged that I come help him because he accidentally wet the bed. But I hung up and called the police to report this incident anonymously. The call was a welfare check and when the cops arrived, my Sil was still out of the house. So let me get this straight. Your brother was begging for your help. Instead of helping him you hung up on him, called the cops to his house, leading to his potential humiliation because he was stuck in a bed that he had wet. You are definitely the asshole. And she's right you shouldn't have called the cops. You could have easily gone to help. Info. 
So, how many hours per week are you staying with your brother so your sil can get necessary errands done? Is it? Let me guess, none? The. You are the asshole and shut your damn mouth till you've been in her shoes. It's not actually practical to fully take care of a bedridden person in a household without ever leaving the house. If your brother needs more help than he's getting, help him instead of being a judgmental ass to your sill and wasting the police's time. You are the asshole. She's allowed to leave the house. Also you hung up on your brother. It sounds like you were being spiteful to her. Maybe you should offer to watch your brother if you're so worried about him. I bet you're not willing to, you just want to piss your sill off. You are the asshole. What in the world is wrong with you? You chose to call the police instead of going to help your brother. Caretakers are allowed to leave their charges, especially if he is only bedridden temporarily and there is no medical emergency that could outright off them while they were away. Sucks that he wet himself, but you know how that could have been fixed? If you had been a supportive sister and headed over to help him, or called another family member. What? You're saying she's never allowed to leave the house, can't grab groceries, etc. If you were that concerned, you could have also discussed with your sill a way to make sure he was always watched. But if she's a single person caretaking team, there's only so much she can do. You are the asshole. This isn't how you help a bedbound person. You just created a huge, dramatic mess, when you could have done the good person thing to do, which would have been to go and help him, like he asked. Caregiving is complex. Regardless of your feelings for her, she still needs to go out and do things and run errands to keep things moving. Doing so when he's asleep makes sense. That's what a lot of caregivers do. Sounds like you were just waiting for an opportunity to screw her and this was it. Congrats on making your bedbound brother's life even more difficult because you wanted to be petty. Info. Did you ever actually go help your bro? You are the asshole the wife had been taking care of him already for a whole week. She may have needed to go get more supplies and run errands to keep things in the house going. I see nothing in here, where you, op, offered to actually help your brother. You saw an opportunity to make your sills suffer since you don't get along. This was not about your brother.